have a CPA. This is actually my lab, a CPA. So this is the exact replica. Small lab. Small lab. Well, it looks small, but there's also perspective projection, and there's a lot of math stuff, but you will see the important of using this. So now, if I'm over here, I have a drill. You might ask me, why do I want to put an item here? Well, Part of the point of it is to teach you about to do certain things, and we wanted to learn specific tasks. Let's say you wanted to clean up the kitchen. Well, how do you kind of clean up the dishes? Then clean up the dishes. Or how do you how to fix a broken stair step or something like that with a drill? Or does it count? We put it in a specific environment, but play with the drill. And because it's in software, we can do a lot of cool things with it. So let's say if I accidentally drop the drill, oh no. Well, Now, the other cool thing is that 
this is correlating with one object to that station, right? So it knows between this and that is a distance. Well, how does it know that there's two objects? And how does it and relate to the head? Why is it only this part from the head? And maybe there are no toys on the hand. Yes, the sensor is in here. That tells you where to go. So this whole system that you see right here is just a very complicated but somewhat logically makes sense system of tracking. It's tracking this thing and this thing. And because I can track those things, I can overlay certain things into the workspace so we can play with. So let's say if you want to model your bedroom for some reason, you can. You can make it interactable, meaning that you can actually go around and pick things up on the table. Instead of I just have to look, have a look at it. And then the other use of this is that, well, now that I can control a robot, what am I going to do with it? You know? Like, well, what's the point? So one of the good applications of this is that we can actually teach a robot by giving it examples. So then I have to get a, a, you know, a football. So if you wanted to pick up a box, you first have to show it how to pick up a box. Well, but how do you do that without having a robot arm? This is the way. You can put it into software and teach it how to pick up or how to do certain things without having to be physically next to one. You can record it and play it back and we'll have to do it the exact same thing. And then the other side of the thing is that, well now, let's say you don't want to do it anymore. If you got tired, you, you're tired of teaching yourself. Let's make your mom fed up with you, you know, if you have something. Well, how do you get it to learn by itself? There's machine learning algorithm that goes in basically you take your first example and then reiterate it to different similar tasks. So let's say you, you learn how to play football. You kick the football from the left, you kick it from the right. What happened? You kick it from the center, what happened? You kick it a little too high, kick it too low. It can generate a lot of scenarios for it to learn through trial and error. And through those trial and error, it refines its skills so that eventually, it would be very good at a specific task, whatever the task is supposed to be. In this case, I just wanted to pick up a drill. That's my quick drill there. That's why I gave it a gripper. Oh. Yep, that's it. That's my presentation. And you might have some more. Yes. I'm sorry. Can you drill through that? <laughs> so right now, again, this is the software. Same with the questions. Like the visual question, I haven't programmed that yet. And I would only program that if I would want it for a particular reason. So like you said, maybe I want to teach it how to assemble a box of wood. Right? Then I would have to teach it how to drill a drill, a clip drill, put the nail, I mean put the screw in, press the button to activate the drill, and then drill it in. But you have to describe that to the robot. You want to do that. That's the, that's the research part of it. Any more questions? All right, everyone, give me a hand.